All right, guys, let me show you one of my absolute favorite ways to prepare trout, and it's probably the easiest way you can possibly hope for, and that's right here on the Camp Chef Pellet Grill and Smoker. It's going to be real simple, so watch this. First of all, we're going to fill the hopper. You're going to put a bunch of applewood pellets in there, and it won't take a whole lot because the fish doesn't take a long time to smoke. So we're going to fill the hopper up, close the lid, and come down here, turn the power on, and wind this thing around to 275 degrees. So I've got a brine solution that I made right here, and I actually made this one last night and started this trout ahead of time. It can brine anywhere for between about, oh, four hours and 12 hours, depending on how you want to do it. What's in my brine solution right here? We've got a gallon of water, we've got about four cups of ice to keep it nice and cold, and in that gallon of water, we dissolved a cup of salt and a half a cup of sugar. I put a couple of peppercorns in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is take my fillet knife and just put little scores in the flesh almost down to the bone. And what that's going to do is allow us to retain all the fat that's in this trout, but, uh, but allow still the smoky flavor and the brine to impregnate the meat and make it taste really good. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now that I've got those cuts in it, I'll go ahead and put it in the brine right here. And uh, oh, say six hours from now, we'll pull it out of the brine, we'll rinse it off really good, and we'll put it on the grill. In the meantime, that other one's been already sitting in there overnight, and it's already ready for the grill. Okay, so the Camp Chef pellet grill is up to uh, temperature at this point. We're uh, hovering about uh, 225 degrees. That's close enough for what we're doing. Uh, I took the fish that we brined last night, took it out of the brine, rinsed it with ice cold, clear water just to get the excess brine off it. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the smoker. So we're gonna pop it open. As you can see, this thing's very well used because I cook on it all the time. And I honestly think that a little bit of color on your smoker grates uh, actually makes for some better flavor. I'm gonna put the fish on an angle so that my slits aren't perfectly parallel with the bars. We'll close the smoker, and just like that, three hours from now, we'll have some delicious trout. I'm gonna open the smoker, flip the fish over, and then we'll let it go for another hour and a half. So let's take a quick peek. We're gonna let the other side go. That's delicious. Okay guys, three hours have passed. Time to take the trout off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reach over here. I'm gonna turn the camp ship all the way down to shutdown mode. You see the S down will come on right here. What that's gonna do is pump out all the, the uh, residual smoke that's in there, as well as burn off the last of the, the, the pellets that are in there, the applewood pellets. And so I believe at this point, we can take this trout off. But how about that? It looks pretty good, right? We're gonna go ahead and get a hold of this trout and we'll bring him right there. Let's get underneath this belly flap and get started with this skin real carefully. And if you do this right, and if your preparation was correct with your fish, what you will end up with is an entire trout with no skin and no bones. So we're gonna be real graceful about this. So now the skin's out, and now I can take all these meat off because I sliced it ahead of time. Not only did that allow the, the flavoring of the brine and everything to get in, but it allows me to pick all this meat off of this trout and not have to deal with the bones that are left. So I've got a nice piece, so you can see it's got good smoky color to it. It's totally boneless. Got, still got some moisture on the inside of it right here. That's gonna be good eats right there, people. Mmm, now I need a beer. <laughs> so good, guys. So, so, so good. You can't get any more simple than smoking trout. A brine, a, some score of the meat, put it in a brine, smoke it on the Camp Chef smoker. Absolutely delicious, guys. If you want more information on the smoke, campchef.com. If you want to join the conversation, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Most importantly, we hope you'll join in, and we'll see you next week.